as a small business owner, uh, let's say I'm a small business owner, I immediately think, hey, can I really afford to implement uh, changes within my business? Do I have to buy expensive uh, GPU chips to, to implement this? So, like, what do the smaller players do? Well, look, I think the first thing is everybody should go get accounts in three places, right? Get ChatGPT+, uh, get Bing, uh, Bing Chat. Uh, and I love this new service called PoePoE.com, which has m multiple different AI models available to you. And those are about 20 bucks a month. And all of a sudden, what you get to see is the power of generative AI being applied to your business. And I think about generative AI for small businesses in three different uh, categories. One is in all your consumer contact, and we can talk more about that. One in sort of you as a thought partner with you uh, to think about your businesses and new ideas. And the third thing is uh, to think of it as your super assistant, being able to do many things that are drudgery for you today. You just named three, but if money was constrained, which one would you pick as the number one choice? Oh, I would pick ChatGPT+. Okay. And, and for the uh, customer Bing, angle, Bing is free. Bing is, Microsoft has made Bing free, so you have that as well. But what about the quality? Sometimes the answers aren't always correct, right? Between three and then there's debate about like ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. Should, as a business owner, should we be concerned about the accuracy that's being spewed back at us? Well, so I think that the use case is very different, right? So the use case is not information search. For information search, you still want to go to Google and, you know, verify the sources. But the way I think about uh, ChatGPT is really it's a thought partner and is lowering the cost of cognition, lowering the, uh, helping us with new ideas and, and new, new, new considerations. A cool example that I first came across when I knew this was important was uh, a VC in California was helping uh, sort of uh, uh, immigrant businesses in, in lawn care and fence care and so forth. And typically they had, you know, not great English skills. And he would help them communicate with them, uh, create the right text messages, create the right emails for them so they could communicate with those customers. All of a sudden, you know, now these entrepreneurs could literally put their, you know, their broken English into ChatGPT and get perfect Harvard English, perfect Oxford English, you know, perfect whatever English you wanted in the communication. So all of a sudden, they had this new superpower which, where before English communication through text was very difficult and now it became super easy. That's just one example of the various things you can start to do. If you think about small businesses and they need a social media strategy, they need something to come up with in terms of all the tweets they need to do, all the Facebook posts they need to do, all the TikTok videos they need to create. Well, ideas for them can be generated through ChatGPT. So here, you're not basically asking it for a particular factual information. You're thinking with it, and it's thinking back with you and coming up with ideas. And they're amazingly implementable ideas that you can put, put into practice right away.